Now let's hit on three different common mistakes that I typically see that can ultimately lead to a surprise removal. And the first comes down to the changes that employers are typically making. And in your defense, I, I get why you probably feel like these might be the only options for you. But it's increasing employee contributions, it's increasing deductibles, maybe adding a high deductible health plan. And increasing deductibles and out-of-pockets and adding HSA plans is having unintended consequences too. What ends up happening is that employees can't actually afford their deductibles and out-of-pockets anymore. They're essentially paying for insurance, but it feels like they're uninsured. And what they do when they actually need care is if they can't afford it, they just forego that care altogether. And then eventually, this just rolls into a large claim down the line. And those large claims are what end up surprising underwriters. It's what ends up getting built into your health insurance renewal. Another common mistake I see is using the strategy of just switching carriers every year. I like to call this the, the hope and pray method. Let's hope a carrier comes in and buys the business for another year. Let's hope our 30% renewal gets pushed down to a 5% because there was a competitive rate out there from carrier B and now we can stay with our existing carrier. You know what? When a carrier comes out with an initial renewal of 30% and then they negotiate down to five because carrier B had more competitive rates, that should just piss you off. Why not come out with the better renewal in the first place? But this hope and pray strategy, ultimately in the end, is not gonna work. You might be in a market that doesn't have a whole lot of competition and that's a problem right there because if the competition doesn't provide any more competitive rates, you're gonna be stuck in the same position. But worse off, what I've started to see carriers do, and frankly, I get why they're doing it, is if you're consistently coming in and asking for a quote year over year and they're coming in competitive, guess what? The third year they get that quote, they don't wanna quote on it anymore. They know that the broker is just shopping for a better rate and ultimately they're not gonna make any changes. So then your result is even less competition. And eventually you get stuck with that 30, 35, 40% rule. Last common mistake I see is making one year decisions. One year decisions are typically made because you don't have enough time to make a thoughtful, educated decision. If you're getting your renewal 30 days before your plan actually renews, you're not thinking about going from fully insured to self-funded or doing anything creative because you don't have time to do it. Your back is up against the wall and guess what happens? You end up making the same decisions that you make every single year. Increasing contributions, switching carriers, adding an HSA plan, increasing deductibles and out-of-pockets. It's all you're left with with the time that you have. So you gotta get away from one-year decisions.